Okay, so welcome back. So now in this video, we're going to talk about additive, additive inverses. Okay, so now we, we've been talking about opposite numbers, right? So we know that there are integers that have opposite signs or opposite, there are opposite numbers. So you have four and negative four, and those are opposites of each other. We have three and negative three, and those are opposites of each other. In fact, every integer other than zero has an opposite, right? So another word that we use for those opposites are additive inverses. So instead of saying that um, um, three and negative three are opposites, we can say that those are additive inverses of each other, okay? Now, where does this term additive inverse comes from? It comes from a property of integers that we need to know. Okay, and so this property of inverses is the fact that every single, it's based on the fact that every single number, you know, every single integer has a unique number that's the opposite of it, right? So any number you give me, I can tell you the opposite of it, except for zero, right? So if you give me negative two, the opposite is two. If you give me negative five, the opposite is five. So it's true that every single number Every single integer has an opposite, which means every single number other than zero has what's called an additive inverse. Well, what does it mean to be an additive inverse? Well, here's the property, okay? So, an additive inverse means, well, inverse means, we've, we've heard that term before, inverse operations like plus, minus, or inverse operations, they undo each other, right? So an additive inverse, is a number that when you add it to another number equals zero, okay? So, if I take any number a and I add its inverse, additive inverse, or the opposite, right, which would be minus a, if I add those two together, I get zero. And so that is how an additive inverse works. So any number plus its additive inverse will always equal zero. Okay? And that's important to know. Okay? Um, is there anything else I want to say about this? Yeah, so to find the additive inverse, okay, to find the additive inverse, All you do is you take the given number, right, and you take the number that has the opposite sign or the opposite value, right? And so those are the added inverse. So if I give you two, the additive inverse of two is negative two, okay? If I give you three, then the additive inverse is negative three. Why? Because if I add these, I get zero. If I add these, I get zero. And that's it. Take care.